Hi, I'm Miss Toy, and I want to welcome you to tonight's segment of Inside the Haven. Uh, Inside the Haven, where we are mentoring minds and changing lives. I have a dynamic guest for you tonight, Miss Tracy Palmer of Trendsetters Productions. So mom, dad, uh, auntie, uncle, go get uh, a, a young person that you love and adore. Let them know that we're on. Uh, go call them right now, and we will be right back. Welcome back. Welcome back to Inside the Haven. And uh, I am Miss Toy. And once again, we're here with Tracy uh, Palmer of Trendsetters Productions. Uh, before we get started with Tracy, I want to give you our quote for the, for the night. Our quote is, think positive, be positive. Um, God wants you to think highly of yourself, but not more highly than you should. If you think positive, you'll be positive. And you'll do positive things. You will excel. You will reach your goals. But it starts with your thoughts. So think positive, okay? All right. Uh, so, uh, Miss Tracy, yes, ma'am. Uh, tell us what you do. I am owner and instructor of Trendsetters Productions Modeling and Etiquette School. Okay. Yes, ma'am. And h- how long uh, has Trendsetters Production uh, Modeling Etiquette School been in existence? It's actually been in existence for quite a while. I took over. Okay. About four years ago. Oh, so it was already a school and you... Uh... Yep, I changed the name a little bit. Okay, what was it before? It was Trendsetters Productions TSP Models. Okay. Um. Yep, I took over. I took over and changed the name and changed the entire curriculum. So. You made it, you took it and made it your own. Uh, yes, ma'am. So it was sort of like a, what they call a turnkey operation, but... Yes. You turned the key it was a. It was just a modeling school. I turned okay. it into a modeling and etiquette and, school. Now, what does the, uh, I guess we all know what models do, but right. what's what's the etiquette part? What is that? Well, the etiquette that? part is, um, it has to do with, like, confidence. Confidence mm-hmm. builders, respect, of mm-hmm. course. Um, a lot of kids need that today. They need it so bad. They do. They, they do. need it so mm-hmm. bad. And we just do a whole, whole lot geared towards everything that's going on with the youth in our mm-hmm. society right now is basically what it is. I find that a, a, lot, of, a lot of kids nowadays, they... They have this uh, I'm grown kind of thing, you know, e- even at, you know, 13, 14, 12, oh, yeah. they kind of want to think like they're grown and they get involved in, but one thing, they're doing grown folk, grown folk things. They do, they do. And then they think they're grown, know, they want to approach you like you're grown, so do. that's wonderful what you're doing. Well, the big thing, I think, with our young people is they don't know who they are, you know what I mean? That's it. And they're trying to be a whole bunch of people that they're not, uh-huh. and my thing is to help them find out who they are. You know, be I, confident and love that right, person, and then right. that way they can be successful in whatever they're doing. You're right. I, yeah. I, I, I like to think that because they, they don't know how to act, then they act out. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's that's really good. Um, so how, how many kids do you have at any given time? Um, well, I always have at least 30 kids. Whoa, that's that's amazing. That's yeah. awesome. I always have at least 30. Well, the thing is, it's a 10-week program. Okay. But you don't have to leave after that, and so far nobody they don't ever leave. leave. <laughs> <laughs> nobody ever leave. But I've serviced. I've serviced over three hundred mm-hmm. kids. Wow. Yeah. Within the four four year period of yes, time. Yes, ma'am. That's awesome, Tracy. Yeah. Um. Yeah, because you know kids need to be. I would like to say that kids are jockeying for position. Mm-hmm. They're trying to fit, figure out where they fit in. Absolutely. Do you like me? Do you love me? Do I can? Do I fit in here? Do I fit in there? Right. And a lot of times, you know, if they don't know who they are. They'll feel like they don't fit in anywhere, and, or they, or they'll just be able to get pulled. Yeah, yeah, in many different directions. Yeah, yeah, because, yeah, because they feel I mean? like they don't fit in. Then, then they'll fall in with the wrong am, group. That's right. I'm gonna go ahead and follow you. Whether that's good or bad, and that's the bad part. That's about the bad part. It, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's the bad part about it. If it's not positive, they don't need to follow it. Right. But if right. you don't know who you are, if somebody's showing you love, anything that's where you're good. going. That's anything where you're going. Sound good. Yes, ma'am. Mm-hmm. So, um, what made you choose? Uh, to have what? What made you want to have a modeling school, or for you to choose that as a, 
a career or a field to, or a field to go into? Well, my oldest daughter, uh-huh. wow, she's twenty one now. <laughs> she uh she actually You don't look a day over twenty one yourself. Hey, hey, no. <laughs> <laughs> but she she loves to model. Uh-huh. You know, she's a model and she loves to model. So I was just following her career, supporting okay. her. Uh-huh. And you know, me being behind the scenes, I'm one of those parents that I'm right there all mm-hmm. the time. So yeah, I just good, was really good. watching and seeing what was missing and then mm-hmm. this opportunity became, you know, it came upon and you know, I talked to my husband about it, and I was like, let's do it. So so we did. So what were you doing before that? I was a house mom. Okay. Stayed at home. That's, that's I mean, great. It's I not, was a house it's mom, not too. not what I always did. Uh-huh. I had, you know, a job here, a job there. But for the most part, I was a stay-at-home mom. I absolutely loved it, and I have a, right. I have an old-school husband, so he's right. like, I got it. You know? Right. You know, so, I stayed at yeah. home with my kids for some years, yeah. too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I, I did. I, I loved it, and, and I think it uh, benefited them greatly. Yeah. And, and for anybody that can do that, do it. You know, we understand that a lot of us can't. Right, absolutely. The way society is set can, up nowadays. You, you but can if stay you can. home with your kids and raise them and show them uh, the way that they should be mm-hmm. going, then yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we, we're old school too. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> good, good. So you said you've been doing this for, for uh, four years. Yes, ma'am. So, so what life experience or, or, or college training or uh, any kind of training do you have? I have all you to do the life skills I need, okay. you know, uh, to 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 provide and help for these children. Um, you know, I I have I have some college. Mm-hmm. In my experience, if I were somebody telling somebody else what they need to do, mm-hmm. I would definitely say get a business degree, mm-hmm. just so you don't have to get a whole lot of help. You know, to make sure your business stayed open. Mm-hmm, right. I've been blessed. Mm-hmm. I don't see my business going anywhere. Mm-hmm. I'll be around. No, for not a not long not time. if you got kids that don't want to leave. Mean, they don't want to leave. Mm-hmm. But you know that uh, the blessing is I'm just being myself, mm-hmm. and I have saved so many mm-hmm. lives, and that's and you know it's just truly a blessing. Praise God. Yeah. Um. So, is there a fee? Yes, there is. How there, much is there, that? There is a fee for thirteen and up. Mm-hmm. It is two twenty five. Mm-hmm. For the for 16 ten, weeks. For, for 10 weeks. Uh-huh. Okay. But they stay and you uh-huh. don't pay anymore. Uh-huh. And then for uh, 12 and under is 175 uh-huh. mm-hmm. That's great. And that's, yeah, it's not all due at once. I work with you. It's not, it's definitely not about the money. I'm trying mm-hmm. to save these kids. Right. Um, you know, so, yeah. So, so you, you had a fashion show here recently. I did. And what, what was that about? I had an anti-bullying fashion okay. show. Uh, within my program, mm-hmm. of course, we have roundtable discussions. Mm-hmm. Just kind of like me and you sitting here talking mm-hmm. right now. Kids um, like that. They yeah, like to they, talk, they, yeah. And they have to be able to trust me right. if I'm going to help them. Right. Mm-hmm. And so what and I open do, up. Yeah, so mm-hmm. what I do is I open up mm-hmm. first. Me too. Yeah. I open up first. I, you know, I let them completely in. Mm-hmm. I don't hide anything. Right. And then that way it opens a door for them to do the same thing. Mm-hmm. And it's amazing that we don't know when we start talking, that's healing, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. and we can grow for, for you, start, for you and for them. Right. And you can yeah. start to grow from that. Well, right. What I found out was, you know, about 80% of my students have been bullied mm-hmm. and not only had they been bullied, they had, you know, some of them had a contemplated suicide. Mm-hmm. Some of them have felt like they didn't want to be here mm-hmm. anymore. And, you know, and one of them was my, you know, was my daughter. She had got bullied real mm-hmm. bad. And uh, my oldest daughter got bullied too bad too, but it wasn't you know she she mm-hmm. was she was a little bit stronger mm-hmm. you know, uh, and so it just really was I was like I have to do something. Mm-hmm. But you know the, the thing is uh, you know like you said the one you know, the one baby was a little bit stronger, mm-hmm. but the one that that wasn't she shouldn't have had to need to be. no she shouldn't you know, have. She I mean should, they, they yeah. kids you know and right it, it it was just it was really something because my key my students range from. Mm-hmm. Age is seven, and I think my oldest is probably about twenty-seven mm-hmm. years old. And wow. I'm talking to all, all of them, mm-hmm. either experienced it or had, you know, know mm-hmm. something about it, or somebody they know experienced it. And so I said, "Oh, I got to do something." Right. So I had a fashion show. Uh, it was all about bullying. Mm-hmm. We opened up with a skit, and it was more like a monologue. And mm-hmm. the kids that have been bullied really bad were able to share part of mm-hmm. their story. Um, every, like everything was just all about bullying. Even mm-hmm. the last scene, we actually wore bullying signs mm-hmm. and clothes and, you know, words. We held mm-hmm. up words that, and, and it was just, it was amazing. Mm-hmm. And just even the rehearsals, we, we, mm-hmm. they grew so much. Mm-hmm. The parents grew so mm-hmm. much and found out so much that they didn't, they didn't know. know. You know, I still have people coming up to me just saying, I went home and I talked to my kids and I found this out or I found that out, you know. So it, it did what, needed to be done mm-hmm. for yeah. growth in my not just my students but a lot of people in our community mm-hmm. and myself and mm-hmm. my daughter 
And so now I'm trying to go to all the schools in Genesee County. It's my mission. Mm-hmm. Um, because after that, like I said, I just saw a much bigger picture. Mm-hmm. And God gave me a much bigger vision. Give me a platform. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, good, so now good. it's a must that I go. Mm-hmm. I have to go everywhere because we're not addressing it. Mm-hmm. You know, we're not addressing it in our city. We're not addressing it mm-hmm. in our nation because everybody just thinks that it's not this big thing. But... You know, 6,078 people killed themselves last year alone. And, you know, and and you can find, you know, e- even those that have trying to be and are being good parents, great parents, yeah, awesome parents, absolutely. you can still, you know, miss something. Yes. Uh, and and overlook something. That's right. And, and, and sometimes kids are being bullied, you know, and the parents don't even realize right. it. Right. And, a lot, and they know, feel like and they I'm, can't tell I'm anybody. I'm a parent, but yeah. I know... Just be through my business, I know that kids a lot of times need somebody else. Mm-hmm. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's why we say, you know, it take a village. You take a Sometimes village. Sometimes mm-hmm. you don't want to talk to your parents. Right. You know, and that don't make you a bad parent. Right, right. It just means that I'm not comfortable enough talking to you. Mm-hmm. You know, so I need somebody else I can talk mm-hmm. to. No, that's happened to me a lot. Mm-hmm. A lot, you know. And I've heard of my students, I, you know, things that they share with me. I, You know, mm-hmm. some stuff I can keep. And help them, but some stuff I'm you gonna gotta have tell to the parent. Tell them. I'm yeah. gonna have to because if it's gonna harm you, them or, right. or others, or, then yeah, right. you need to know. Right, but you know that's the, you know that's the gift that God gave me mm-hmm. to be able to mm-hmm. to help them to hear. Yeah, to hear yeah. and 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 be able to relate to them, and like you said, and be able to uh, open up and tell your story. Oh yeah, uh, because everybody you know uh, does not feel comfortable telling their story. I'm I'm real transparent too. I'm, so I'm, I'm real transparent mm-hmm. too because you know yeah if if you're gonna work with kids especially you uh you or or helping anybody right you know your your life needs to be I think your life needs to be an open book that's right you know and, I agree with that yeah and 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 the only reason why uh you would be afraid to share something if you work is is that you maybe you're still dealing with it that's right. Maybe you, ha- maybe and a lot you haven't of times got we don't even it. know we're still dealing with it yeah. until we talk about it. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Until we talk about yeah. it, it's just like, wow, I'm still dealing mm-hmm. with that. Or, wow, I've been through that. And sometimes you don't even realize what or you've it's been still, through. Or it still hurts, you know, right. or whatever. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so me, like you said, I'm I'm an open book. I, I believe that people should know where you came from. They mm-hmm. should just know where you're at. Right. You know what I mean? Right, right. Yeah, yeah. so that's, 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 that's how they're going to mm-hmm. get through their struggle yeah because you know because pe- people look maybe they look at you and say oh she's arrived but let me tell you how i got here right let me tell you what I, so because so many people feel like they can't do it right they can, you know what i mean right. or like they stuck mm-hmm. no you're not no you're not you know, yeah no. you don't have to be stuck right um so have you had a mentor or a role model oh man <laughs> <laughs> yes good i have i have several okay um in this business that I'm doing um, when I was just in the background mm-hmm. watching definitely have some of those so um, so was there that much going on here in Flint that you could watch and you know, the funny, from or? you know the funny thing is we were we were the school was here but we were going everywhere else okay you know in Michigan but mostly you know everywhere else there were a few things going on here um, a few of my friends like Kayla Wilborn and uh, Jeremy Cornelius they've been having shows mm-hmm. you know for some time now, um, but it's 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 really becoming a much bigger thing mm-hmm. now. I think it, people are paying more attention mm-hmm. to all the positive things that they still doing and I'm doing, and you know a lot of uh, a lot of the other people like in Detroit or something like mm-hmm. that have brought stuff to Flint. Um, like my friend Deshaun with Walk Fashion Show, they've brought it here, and we go there quite quite a bit. And um, yeah, and like I said, I just I just had to add something to mm-hmm. what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. You know, because one, one, you, you want you want you don't want <clears throat> what I'm doing is I'm building role models, mm-hmm. not models. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I know what you mean. One thing I like to say about about purpose is is that you know even though someone you, you know maybe maybe there's another modeling school you know on the other side of the city, mm-hmm. you know, but you too. I mean, and you're doing the same thing, mm-hmm. but. You you put your flair to it, you, you know. You bring your character and who you are to it. Right. Other person brings who they are to it, and even though it's the same thing, it's still yet very much different. Right. And I don't even have a problem sending you to somebody else, right? Because and that's why I so I do go I do sit and interview, mm-hmm. you know, and talk with you and your parent if you're not of age, mm-hmm. unless you know this is 
if you just want your child to model, this is not where they need mm-hmm. to be. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. If I am not allowed to teach your child something that they can take with them the rest of their mm-hmm. life, you know, and and apply that to the rest of their you know, they life, to whatever it is they want to do. Because you don't have to want to be a model to go mm-hmm. to my school. You right. know what I'm saying? This is all about a confidence build. Mm-hmm. This is all about you being successful in whatever mm-hmm. you want to do. Good. So if you're not here for that, then I'm going to send you somewhere else. That's good. You know? You know, because uh, you, know, you have to believe there's enough to go around. Yeah. And, and, and everybody is, like you say, everybody is not for you. Mm-hmm. Everybody is not going to hear you. Mm-hmm. But those that hear you, those are the ones that are going to come to That's you. That's right. That's right. That's right. Um, they will come. They will come. They will come. And they will stay, honey. That's, right. <laughs> That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Um, I tell you what, before we go any further, uh, let's take a break. We'll take a break and we'll be right back. on public access. Ella no podría ver el océano. Ríndete. Regresa al basurero. Pero no les hice caso. Le abrí paso. Y ahora... Estoy aquí. Soy lo que siempre quise ser. All right, well, welcome back. Welcome back to Inside the Haven, where we are mentoring minds and changing lives. Uh, before we go any further with Miss Tracy, uh, I want to give a shout out. To all the students uh, uh, who attend school here in Flint, no matter what school you go to, I just want to encourage you to stay with it, stay focused, uh, have goals, and achieve your, achieve those goals. Think positive. You can do it. Get those good grades. Uh, k- keep your dream before you, and you can make it. And I want to congratulate you in advance for passing, uh, getting for, through this what this first marking period. All right. And also, uh, I want to... Uh, Mentioned that uh, inside the Haven, uh, we're calling our preteens, teens, and young adults. Uh, we're presenting our second annual citywide abstinence rally. Uh, that's coming up uh, the second Saturday of uh, October, October fifteenth. It starts at twelve. Uh, we're also having an abstinence walk, which starts at ten. And for the walk, we'll be serving uh, a light breakfast, and there will also be a pizza lunch. Uh, we're giving away five hundred dollars, uh, a five hundred dollar cash prize to the group that brings the most participants. Um, we're going to have some real talk, uh, dealing with the physical, emotional, and spiritual aspects of sex, sex before marriage, that is. Uh, and we'll, we'll be featuring, uh, music, uh, a dance troupe, uh, spoken word poetry, and more. Um, this will be done in an atmosphere without condemnation, or we're coming together again to lift up our youth. Uh, so bring your loved ones, ages 13 to adult. And also, if you have a youth group, uh, we want to invite you to come and set up a table, uh, and you can promote your group while you're there. It's free of charge. We just want you to come and get the information. Um, you know, ha- having sex uh, outside of uh, outside of marriage, um, 
can can ruin a good friendship, a good relationship. It can tie you down to someone that that you really don't need to even be with, but because you're having mm-hmm. sex now, you are you are hooked up in 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 what we call a soul tie, and 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 those things are hard to get out of. So uh, we just want to encourage you uh, to to make some better choices. All right, all right. Uh, so back with Miss Tracy Palmer. I'm enjoying my conversation with you, dear. Um, <clears throat> so what do you like most about what you do? Mm, the rewards of what I do is, um, you know, that parent that sends me a text message mm-hmm. saying I saved a child mm. or watching a child go from where they started when they first walked mm-hmm. in my door, not even really wanting to be there mm-hmm. with a nasty attitude turning into some, you know, just blossoming mm-hmm. or somebody that, you know, is so shy that they can't get through their mm-hmm. senior exit, but then they did the best senior mm-hmm. exit. Um, just stuff like just That's watching, good. watching growth, mm-hmm. watching, watching them grow is, is the most rewarding oh, thing. Wow. Yeah. So I, I see you this, this outfit, explain your outfit. Well, you know, my inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> you know, individuality is uh-huh, something right, for me. Right. This is my anti-bullying tie. Okay. Uh, my husband tied this for me. Thank you, honey. <laughs> uh, yes, and so I just really wanted to... I, I, I've gotten to the point where I need to promote it all the time. Mm-hmm. So we can make a change. So you have a uniform. So I have... You know, it's not a uniform. Mm-hmm. I change it up. Well, well, I, mean, I change it's still, it up, but mm-hmm. we can call it that. Okay. <laughs> you can call it that, you know. But yeah, this is this is just I mean, me. you're very stylish. Dare to be different. Uh-huh. I'm very stylish. Yeah. <laughs> I dare to be different. But this is something, and we sell these for three dollars a mm-hmm. piece. And you know, we want everybody to be advocates for mm-hmm. anti-bullying. So that's what this is. It's, a, it's an anti-bullying collector card, mm-hmm. and that is me. Mm-hmm. I see that. <laughs> <laughs> that's me. And so yeah, so this is my ensemble. Right. Okay. It, you wear it well. It looks, it looks good. Thank you. I mean, and and the and the way it's uh, the tie will, will cause someone to. Walk up and say, well, what is, what that? is that? Yeah, what is that? Absolutely. Uh-huh. Um, so what obstacles... Um, okay, well, we were talking about... Oh, you already said that. What you like most about what you do. Um, what obstacles have you had to overcome? And what well, before... Were you were you ever bullied? Yeah. Were you? I don't, I don't think back in the day bullying was as, as it is now. Mm-hmm. And it may have been. I don't know. But, yes, I was bullied. You know, I, I moved here when I was 12 years old, so I was a new kid. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And so, yeah, big big time, big time really? bullying for at least the first three years. And then you, I kind of got, you know, my set of friends and, you know, kind of got to know who I mm-hmm. was. And, you know, it just wasn't as big of a thing. And, no, I didn't tell anybody, though. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm sure I could have, you know, said something. Mm-hmm. Um, but it, it just wasn't to the extreme where... I felt like I was lost, mm. but definitely I was I was bullied. I saw other people bullied, mm-hmm. and you know, it, I think kids coming up when I was coming up were just a little slightly different. had had a little bit of thicker skin, mm-hmm. could handle a little bit more. But that don't mean you have you should have to handle right. It. You, should you know what I shouldn't. mean. Right. You shouldn't have to handle it. You don't know what goes on with people at home um, because you can get bullied at home. Yeah. You get bullied at work, you get bullied mm-hmm. at church, you get bullied, you know, at school, anywhere you go, you know what I mean? And it's just, it's just not right. It, it's just not right. And it's so right. I really want, you know, us to, to, to have a voice. I want to know they have a voice. Mm-hmm. And I want us to, you know, make a change. As adults, we need to really step in at this point. I can think of uh, uh, some situations that uh, a family member dealt with as an adult. Mm-hmm. Being <laughs> being oh, bullied yeah. by at work by other yeah. adults and and a lot of people they feel are easy targets which again is why I want these kids to be confident and love themselves because when you get to that uh-huh. point they there's can't nothing touch you. you can that nothing they right. can't touch you mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. and I you know I need them to know that weird is good it, it really is and dare to be different my my granddaughter she's six she said I'm a nerd I say baby stay that way okay stay that way and a leader is much better than a follower right and we uh, just last week was talking about the entourage mm-hmm. where, you know of people that actually follow the book mm-hmm. you know and that's that actually makes it way worse is what my students told mm-hmm. me personally is all the people that are laughing mm-hmm. and kind of you know going into making it worse about what they saying and doing. So have you had opportunity um in 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 your setting and, and when the kids come or or the kid or the kids that you have enrolled uh have any of them a bully? Or do they yes. or, or have they realized since being yes. with you that they real I'm yes. a bully. Yes. Wow. Yep. 
and get them turned around. Yes. Praise God. Not only them, people on Facebook start confessing. Uh huh. Saying that I did this and I did that, and, mm-hmm. you know, it's, that's what it's about. And I, I also told my students just this past Saturday that yes, we need to help all our people out of getting bullied. But mm-hmm. have you ever thought about the mind of a bully? Mm-hmm. Why? Are what they, are they? Why going are through? they a bully? Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So mm-hmm. it's 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 either learned behavior or they're going through something themselves that they cannot handle. Mm-hmm. And so we need to you know reach out to them as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> So, what obstacles have you had to overcome to be who you are and do what you do? <laughs> Patience, honey. Uh-huh. Yeah, <laughs> it I'm takes sure. a lot of that. That's like my, my biggest. It's not really an obstacle anymore. Mm-hmm. But I definitely had to, you know, pray and fast because dealing with other people's kids is mm-hmm. not really as hard as dealing with the parents. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> um, but, yeah, you have to be ready to deal with anything, mm-hmm. hear anything, see anything, mm-hmm. you know. Um, I've been blessed to never have to deal with the kids not liking each other or fussing and fighting at each other, and I deal with a lot of females. And so that's just been a blessing. That yes, is a blessing. It's been a blessing. Um, but I believe that the way I teach, even if you come into my program and there's somebody there that you don't mm-hmm. like, you'll never be disrespectful mm-hmm. under my watch. Because of the way that I teach, and I'm just so big on, on respect, mm-hmm. and you really seeing you, and sometimes when you really see you, you'll see that there's no reason for you not to like me. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? Right. You, you're great too. Yeah. I'm great, but you're great too. You never even knew this about me because right. you was worried. You was, you know, you saw me as everybody else, mm-hmm. or what they said, or what they did, or you didn't even give me a chance. Which is a lot of the reasons why we don't like each other. So yeah, what 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 I think um, is that sometimes that especially girls, when they don't get along, I I think that sometimes they they really want to get along. They really would want to be friends, mm-hmm. you know. But there's this ugh, whatever it is, exactly. you know that, yeah. and so it, it 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 hinders. We've been yeah, we've been we've been. They don't understand relationships. Our our we our mentality and everything has been poisoned. Just yeah, by, you know, social media and you know things like like that has had they, it has poisoned our children. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It really has. So, um, what is did I ask you this already? What is your greatest accomplishment so far? The anti bullying. Okay. The anti bullying uh, fashion show. Like I said, it I literally saved lives this mm-hmm. time. Good. Yeah. So so now we were at a um um uh, at a Hamity High School, and so you got a. Yes. A booking from that. Yes. Uh-huh. I, I don't have a date yet. Okay. However, yes. Okay, good. They're bringing me in. <laughs> That's wonderful. Um. So, uh, real quick, real, real quick, how can someone get a hold of you? Put a phone number out there. 810-449-9356. Email tpalmer37 at gmail.com. All right, good. Okay, so with that, <clears throat> excuse me. Um. Uh, again, I'm, I'm glad Tracy came. She came to the studio. I would love to have you come to the studio and give us an interview. Uh, let, let our young people out there hear from you, who you are, what you do, why you do what you do. Uh, if you don't want to come into the studio, you can go to the website, insidethehaven.com, uh, and post your interview there. You can also upload a picture. You can do it from your phone or, of course, your computer. Uh, remember the abstinence rally. If you want information about that, give me a call at 810-577-6556. Uh, I am glad you joined us tonight, and we will see you next time. Thank you.